Hey guys, what's up? This is Bass Fishing in Kentucky. Uh, today I figured that I'd go over my soft baits, like my soft plastics today. So, uh, I got a lot of them. Not a whole lot, but a lot of variety, because I like different things. But, <clears throat> I figured I'd go over them. So, I'm going to just start off with, uh, we'll start off with my favorite bait company, which is Strike King. Uh, I don't have that many that much stuff right now but the Strike King Ocho it's uh, KVD's Perfect Plastics this is in the Baby Bass you guys seen me unbox that I like them a lot uh, another Ocho is a Watermelon Red and Black and uh, it's in the Watermelon Red and Black color you know, the Ochos are a little bit different from most like Cinco type baits like stick baits it's a uh, like an octagon type shape on it so moving on uh, my favorite craw has to be the rage craw uh, I ain't buy a new pack obviously because I've used these like on everything I mean they work good on jigs everything uh, just Texas rig just punching through mats and stuff they work very good I love them uh, that's probably one of my favorite bait companies besides Big Boy Baits uh, it's a cell phone company Big Boy Baits is and I have a lot of his stuff uh, I've caught plenty of bass on his stuff I caught a pretty good sized bass on my first cast of these these are the uh, money sticks and uh, like a watermelon color more like a it's, it's like a watermelon color but not as deep but uh, these are very good. They have a nice action to them. Uh, his Big Boy Baits needle, it tapers down to a very thin tail. That is, it, the action on them is very crazy. I love them. So, uh, those are very good. And that's in Chartreuse. And then I got a pack of his, uh, oh, it's one of his craws. He has three different craws not remember the names but I have one in watermelon and red flake and then uh, one in like a Carolina gold like or I'm not sure if it's Carolina gold but still very good color this one right there is that gold one and then that one is the watermelon red so if you guys would like me to do separate reviews on these then that's fine but uh something that's been very big for me this spring caught a lot of bass on it already is the big boy baits uh, rad shad this is in uh, think gill and uh, bleeding shad two very nice colors I've caught I haven't used the gill color yet or I think it's a cannibal yeah it's cannibal but I have not used that yet the other one I have used I've just been throwing it with a just a jig head on it like that I mean I've gotten plenty of bass on it this season and the great thing about big boy baits is that all his baits are they're such tough plastic but they give off such a good action that it's hard to beat like some of these other companies like Yum and stuff like that they don't their plastics rip too easy so. and then one of my favorite colors that he makes is his June bug color it's a very good June bug color very dark this is also his needle and June bug color. So, moving on, uh, we'll go over the zoom baits I own. Uh, these are the zoom finesse worms. I cannot remember. They're, about, they're like a five-inch finesse worm. They come in a twenty-pack, and they're watermelon red. They're the super salt. So, I like using these on uh, drop shots and stuff like that. So, one thing I like for bed fishing is the Zoom Lizard. I also want to try out the uh, Power Team Lures Gator. I think it's bedtime story that it comes in, but you know, it's like a it's it's a lizard type bait, but it's different. Uh, yeah, Zooms Lizard. This is um, just white, six inches, super salt. And then I have another pack in the six inch blue and black tail. Oh, it's got a it's got a blue tail and a black body. These are very good. 
I like the white ones better for bed fishing because I can see if the bass comes at it or not. You know, it's easier to tell if it hits it. And then I have uh, some that my grandpa gave me. These are Zoom lizards, and I like it. I think they're six inch, and I think it's a uh, green pumpkin with black flake in there. Can't really tell. So he just gave them to me in a bag. And, yeah. And then I have a pack of the bigger trick worms. These are in white. These are probably closer to seven inches, maybe eight. A little bit bigger. But those are uh, just plain white. I like them. So, so moving on to the uh, yum baits. This is the yum creature bait. Very good creature bait. I like it a lot. I get one out, you can't really tell. Very, they have a whole lot of salt on them, but it's got, you know, the big claws and then the little claws. It's, it's pretty much like a, a tube hybrid mix, because it doesn't have a hollow body, but it has like the skirt, like a tube wood. So, and uh, I think these are in water. Not really a watermelon, but like a uh, green pumpkin with black flake in there. So I like putting these uh, pretty much on like a jig or something. It's a little bit different. These are just the yum curly tail grub. Uh, it's very nice curly tail. And then these are some of my favorites. Uh, I like these stick baits a lot, along with the Strike Kings. So, these are the Yum Dinger and the 5 inch Dinger. These are Pearl and Silver Flake. These are. So, I like that color a lot for bedtime fishing or bed fishing. And then these are in the June Bug with the F2 Ferocity. I've caught a lot of fish on this. And then something else I like. These are just cheap and I needed something for my trailer, but these are the yum little craws, crawdad, so that's in like a black with red and black flake in there. Uh, we'll move on to Bass Pro Shops. I bought this, my grandpa bought this for me, it's a 28 piece swimmer kit. It comes with uh, a lot of different swim baits. These are like a watermelon red and black flake, and then these are uh, these two are a bit bigger than these. And it and these it comes in four different colors with jig heads. It has a one eighth ounce and a one fourth ounce jig head worm, and that's it comes with two of each of them, and that's what I've been using with the rad shed. So, and then we'll do my baits because I mean I use my baits sometimes. Uh, that's my watermelon red color. I got curly tail grubs and uh, their double tail curl grubs and paddle paddle worms. And then these are like a black body with a chartreuse tail. Those are in the paddle tail worms. And that's just like a watermelon body with a chartreuse tail. These are all baits that I've made. That's why they're in these kind of baggies. And then that's a chartreuse. They're paddle tail worms and then uh, double tail grubs together. And then black color, black with red flake. So I'm still working on making my baits. I'm trying to order some more stuff, maybe another mold or two, just to uh, kind of expand what I'm doing. You know, I'm not selling them. I'm not sure if I'll ever sell them, but I just like doing it for fun. It's very cool. I sell them to my friends sometimes, but I don't know if I'll ever, like, branch out. So, now I'm going to go in with, like, miscellaneous uh, packages, like, that aren't, that I don't have uh, multiple packages of. So, these, this is a pack of lizards that my grandpa gave me. They're Madman Fishing. It's like a, it's like a black color with red flake in there. Or not red flake, but blue and silver flake in there so that's a it's well it's pretty much like the zoom lizard but you know he just had them so 
And then these are, uh, these are, I think, the power bait um, worms. My buddy gave me these to try and create the color again. <clears throat> Since I make the baits and stuff, he wanted me to try and recreate that color because it's hard for him to find that in a 10 inch, uh, what's called, ribbon tail worm. So. <clears throat> and then here is the, everybody has a pack of these probably, but the Power Bait Sugar Craw. These are in 3 inches in watermelon color. Uh, I don't really like them that small. When I, at the time when I bought them, I did not realize that they were that small. But they will definitely make like a good uh, trailer because <clears throat> they are very small. So, and these are Riverside baits. Uh, I've never found any baits like these. These are a chartreuse pepper. It's a ribbed body worm with a curly tail. These are very good. And then. Uh, these are the hard nose baits from Man's Bait Company. They're frogs. They're, it's a hard nose swimming toad. These are in green pumpkin. These are very good frog. I like these a lot. So, one of my favorite baits of all time has probably got to be the culprit worms. And uh, these are 7.5 inch curly tail worm and rad shed. I'll probably be doing a review on these because these baits, I mean, they are absolutely amazing. I love these. Uh, here are the Z-Man 10 times tougher Elastec. Sure everybody knows about Z-Man, but I'll get one out and show you. These are in watermelon red flake. It's a finesse worm style. Sure everybody knows about this, but you know, normal worms probably stretch about that far. These worms are a lot different in that they can stretch that far. So, they're, those baits are very durable. Uh, and they have a lot of salt in them. So, I just like throwing them with a bullet weight. You know, sometimes on a drop shot. And then, the last bait that I own is these. These are... Uh, these are in Green Pumpkin. I uh, don't remember the company. I think it's Ozark. But these are like a finesse worm. It's a fully round finesse worm. Most of the time in a finesse worm you don't get that fully round body. But these are very good. Uh, I've thrown these on drop shots a lot and caught a lot of bass. So, you know, that's just something that my buddy gave me that he got at a boat show. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, then I'll probably do another one on my hard baits. Uh, just let me know in the comments below and stuff if you want to see my hard baits and like terminal tackle. So I know I don't, I don't think I have that much, but all my money pretty much goes to baits. So thank you for watching. This has been Bass Fishing in Kentucky. See you guys next time.